What's up, YouTube nerds? It's Good Idea Gaming here. Whoa, with a YouTube video. Unbelievable. How is that even possible? I've never made a YouTube video before. Kappa. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and start things off. Um, I am going to make a video about cooldown reduction because um, a lot of people have been asking me to make a tutorial about cooldown reduction. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to spend a few minutes talking about it, why you want it on your gear, why it's so powerful for wizards, and um, pretty much that stuff. So let's go ahead and get going. So if you don't know cooldown reduction, uh, what it does is, oh my god, it lowers your cooldowns. So you can check your cooldown reduction by opening up your inventory, going to the details page, and looking at cooldown reduction right here. So there you go. Right now my character has 67.33% cooldown reduction, which is actually pretty good. Um, you can get a little bit more than that. I think you can go up to roughly 72, 73-ish percent uh, if you have like the best cooldown reduction gear that you possibly can get. Um, and then if you get an empowered shrine, it halves your cooldowns. Um, so then it goes up to essentially it goes like to the 85 86 percent range because uh, Cooldown reduction has diminishing returns. So essentially if you have 50 percent cooldown reduction Let's just say this number here is 50 percent and then you get another 50 percent cooldown reduction like an empowered shrine Which halves your cooldowns now your new cooldown reduction is 75 percent because it's 50 percent of 50 percent So that's how it works and um, yeah, cooldown reduction lowers your cooldowns. I think that's pretty simple. I think everyone already knows that. But it's really important for a wizard um, and why you can utilize it so well for a wizard is because of the Archon ability, which has a natural cooldown of 120 seconds. So if you have a cooldown of, um, uh, if you have a cooldown, well, this is kind of the way that you have to think about it. If you have a cooldown reduction of 50%, your Archon cooldown is now 60 seconds. But because you spend 20 seconds in Archon, you have 20 seconds of Archon uptime, and then you have to wait 40 seconds before you can use it again. Um, if you're using the Rune Pure Power, it lowers the cooldown to 100 seconds. Um, so now if you have a cooldown reduction of 50%, um, again, you have the 50 second Archon cooldown, but you spend 20 seconds in Archon, and now you have 30 seconds where you have to wait. Um, and you, with Pure Power, the cooldown reduction that you really want to be looking for is roughly... 80%. So 80% cooldown reduction means that if you have a cooldown of 100 seconds, 80% uh, cooldown reduction means now your new cooldown is 20 seconds. You have an Archon uptime of 20 seconds. The cooldown is 20 seconds. There you go. No cooldown on Archon. Unfortunately, um, the only way you can actually get up to 80% cooldown reduction is with a lot of cooldown reduction gear and an empowered shrine. So it is impossible to get, um, as of right now anyway, it's impossible to get permanent Archon unless you have an empowered shrine. Um, and those can be a bit of a pain in the ass to find. If you have the Gloves of Worship, they last for 10 minutes. They used to last for an hour. They only last for 10 minutes now. So it is possible to stay in permanent Archon, but it's kind of a pain to actually do that. If you don't have an Empowered Shrine, uh, the cooldown of Archon, uh, the, the best cooldown that you can get is roughly 10 seconds or so. I think my cooldown is 13 seconds because, what do I have here, 100 seconds, 67% cooldown reduction, so that's a 33 second Archon cooldown. So that means I have 20 seconds of Archon uptime, 13 seconds of downtime, so that's pretty good. And I could even get a little bit more cooldown reduction if I need to. So, um, another thing that people kind of overlook with cooldown re reduction is it's not just good for Archon, it's good for a lot of other skills that you're using as a wizard when you use Archon. And uh, one of those skills is Teleport. So Teleport, they actually recently changed Teleport, it used to have a 16 second cooldown, now it's got an 11 second cooldown. So of course when you're not an Archon, you, mobility is really important, you want to be teleporting a lot. If you have a lot of cooldown reduction, notice that that's not even close to 11 seconds, so it's that. Should have been, you know... 0.67 times 11, the difference, whatever, fucking three seconds or whatever. Wow, I really shouldn't swear at YouTube videos. I already messed this video up. Damn. Okay, that's fine. I'm uploading it anyway. Deal with it. Um, so there you go. It's like three seconds or so. Um, anyway, um, also another ability where Archon is uh, really good and cooldown reduction is really good is the Fire Blast as well, which has a two-second cooldown. So the more cooldown reduction that you actually have... Um, the more cooldown reduction that you actually have, the lower that cooldown is going to be. Notice how it's not even close to 2 seconds. It should be roughly like 0.6 seconds or whatever it is, something around that. 
So that's just more DPS for your character, more cooldown reduction, more damage for your character because you're using abilities more frequently. That's that 600% weapon damage a lot more frequently. So you're just quite simply doing a lot more damage when you have more cooldown reduction. So it's incredibly, incredibly important for a wizard. And I think people really don't understand how good cooldown reduction can really end up being. Anyway, um... Let me actually go ahead and say where you can get cooldown reduction, and, and then that'll be that, because now everyone's wondering, like, oh my god, cooldown reduction is so good, Gig. You've convinced me. I'm changing my build. Man, you're such a good player. Um, so let me go ahead and tell you what, um, what pieces of gear can have cooldown reduction. We'll go over this pretty quickly. Number one, the helmet. And the helmet doesn't actually roll cooldown reduction, but you, you can get a socket with cooldown reduction. Um, you get to use the diamond, and the best diamond is reduced cooldown of all skills by 12.5%. There you go, that's 12.5%. Number two, the shoulders, those can go up to 8%. So if you control over the item, you can actually see it goes from 5% to 8%. Of course, you want a higher roll, so that's 8% on that. The chest armor cannot get cooldown reduction. The amulet can also go up to 8%. Mine only has 7, which is bothering, and I want to get uh, more than that. So there's 7% on that. You can go up to 8% on an amulet. Um, rare amulets can only go up to 7%. Legendary amulets can only can go actually 1% higher, so they can go up to 8%. I believe that's actually true for shoulders as well, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, gloves can get 8% as well, which mine have. Um, there you go, 5 to 8%. The belts cannot get cooldown reduction. Bracers cannot get cooldown reduction. Both rings can get cooldown reduction. Same deal, you can get 8% on, uh, on both rings here. So there's 8% on that. Um, pants cannot get cooldown reduction. This ring... Uh, has 5%. I'm looking for 8%, but there you go. Second ring can also get up to 8%. Um, let's see. Boots cannot get cooldown reduction. The offhand can also go up to 8% cooldown reduction. And the weapon can go up to 10% cooldown reduction. So there you go. Um, that's not it, though. As a wizard, you also want to do a couple of other things. You want to make sure you have the passive evocation. That's another 20% cooldown reduction. So there you go. Evocation is important. And also make sure that you've got your paragon points. Yeah, I believe they are in, here we go, they're in offense, there you go, offense, cooldown reduction 10%, so that's another 30%, that's not on your gear, so very important, so when you add all that together, you know, if you have an absolute perfect cooldown reduction wizard build, you got 12 and a half, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, and 10, I believe that's everything, and then we get 10 from the paragon points right over here, and then we get 20 from the evocation, and then 50% from the, um, Empowered Shrine, all together, I don't know the exact number, but you're looking at roughly 86% cooldown reduction, which means that if pure power, your Archon has a cooldown of 14 seconds, which is overkill because you're in Archon for 20 seconds, so there's no reason to have any more than 80% cooldown reduction to get a less than zero cooldown on Archon, but it's still good for other abilities. So anyway, that's a little bit of how cooldown reduction works. Um... I don't know how many people are going to watch this video. I don't know what you guys are going to think. I haven't made a YouTube video in a long, long ass time. Shouldn't say ass on YouTube. Fuck. Okay, I'm messing this video up now. I should really just stop talking for a while. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video now. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It would really mean a lot to me. So please hit the subscribe button. It's so weird not saying follow button and, and subscribe button on Twitch. It's just weird. Um, also, if you are new to my channel if you are just finding this video without knowing who I am. Whoa, that's a shocker right there. Uh, feel free to check out the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash goodideagaming. The link should be uh, below the stream and in the bottom left-hand part. So feel free to do that. If you guys enjoyed the video, do all that YouTube shit. I mean, stuff. Um, like, favorite fucking... Oh, God damn it. Fuck. Like, all that stuff. Anyway, that's it. I should stop talking now. I'm swearing too much. Um, this is YouTube. I don't know if YouTube has like rules on that stuff. Well, I don't think they do. But anyway, wow, this is a nine minute video. I think I went a little overkill. Thanks for watching everyone. Uh, more videos will be out soon and I'll see you guys on the Twitch TV. Peace nerds.